Welcome back to George's Gadgets, everybody. I'm George, and today we're gonna to be talking about a fine piece of Canadian engineering, the Mosaic Palette. That means they got two things going for them now, the Mosaic Palette and Celine Dion. I was super excited to get this. I got it on sale because they turned four years old. When I got the box, I anxiously opened it up and I was really pleasantly surprised to see that the packaging was very nice. It wasn't like past experiences where I ordered things and the company just tossed stuff in the box. They package it really nicely. They really respect their product. And the build quality is phenomenal. This thing's made out of like entirely out of metal. And if you have to get into it, it feels solid as you're opening it up and the pieces that are held together really fit in the spots they're supposed to be in. So when you open the box, you get the, the pieces that all make this thing work. You get the roller, you have some tubing to connect it to your printer. You get the USB cord so that you can upgrade your firmware, and I do recommend doing that. I had to do that myself. You also get two plastic pieces and a metal tube that put together your filament box. And of course you have your power supply and everything that makes it actually get power. Putting together the filament holder that they send you is super easy because you use the box that it was shipped in. Then you slide those two plastic pieces on either end of the box and you just place the metal tube in the middle. I wanna say I held like five full spools on there. It's extremely sturdy, so you don't have to worry about it falling apart. The community for the palette is relatively small in 3D printing terms. I think I was order 2,167. Some of the parts that the community has made for this work really well. And others, <clears throat> not so well. Ultimately, I ended up using the Velcro that they ship with the pallet. Those suckers can hold a lot of weight and you don't have to worry about it falling off. So how you get this thing working once you get it is you turn it on and you're gonna set up a calibration print. You put all the filament into the four, the four holes or three holes, whatever one you wanna use, and you put it into the pallet. What will happen is, is that feeds in and it will cut it and splice it at certain areas. As long as the magnet is in a close proximity to the pallet, it will keep feeding filament to your printer. And this tube will lead up into your extruder, wherever that is, essentially making it kind of like a Bowden slash direct drive hybrid, depending on the printer that you have. So when you first do your calibration print, you're gonna extrude all the transparent filament that comes with the printer until you start seeing color, and then you're gonna stop it, and you'll eventually start your calibration print on your printer and the pallet will know how much filament it needs because the roller will measure as filament is being pulled in. But if you wanna know how this thing actually works under the hood, let's take a look. So you have your stepper drivers and your stepper drivers pull the filament in and there's some tubing underneath this LCD screen and the tubing will lead to a cutter and the cutter basically will cut the different filaments as the filaments are coming in and it will know when it needs to cut and how long, dependent on your settings in your Chroma software. Then it's gonna feed it into the tube leading to the splicing element. There's gonna be an optical sensor that will let the pallet know when the filament is in there and when it needs to actually trigger the, the splicer. There's a heater cartridge that will go over the tube and heat it up to 230 Celsius. And then it'll push the filament together and kind of, ah, I don't know, after that's black magic. But then it will lead down a channel and the channel will be funneled out of the pallet into your printer. And that's how you get these multicolored prints. Of course, no 3D printing video would be complete without a montage. What, was that too nerdy?
do I think the palette is worth it? I gotta say that their support, and specifically Johnny, was emailing me back and forth, and when I first got this, I was ready to give up. I thought I got a bum piece of equipment, I thought that this wasn't working, that it was broken, it ended up being user error, my fault, my bad, and I apologize to the Mosaic crew if I came off as angry. When you pay this much money for something, you kind of expect it to work out of box. But hindsight, thinking about my now dismantled hatchbox or my messed with and modded with Prusas, I gotta say that this piece of equipment works really well. It unlocks this potential that a normal 3D printer wouldn't have. The cool thing about the palette is that it's not proprietary to any specific printer. You don't have to worry if it's a Bowden or if it's a Delta or if it's a whatever it is. You, I can use this on my Prusas as much as I can use it on my Hatchbox. The only thing that it's going to require is me giving the time and effort it takes to calibrate it properly. I believe when I got it, it was on sale because they were turning four, but currently I think they're selling for anywhere around 700 to 800 bucks. I think that it's completely worth that price and I would recommend this to anyone if they were looking to try and get into the multicolored. That being said, I do realize that Prusa has his own version of multi-material prints and it's only about 300 bucks. So I will be trying that in the future. The reason I got this is because it's more accessible to a wider audience. Not all of my viewers use Prusas, so I wanted to make sure that I was including other people. I know I can tend to be a Prusa fanboy and I don't want to keep doing that. I mean, that's, that's, that's all I have for you guys. Um, we have been growing steadily, uh, and I really appreciate all the new subscribers. I, I love all the old subscribers. I hope to just keep producing good videos for you guys and listening to what you want to see and what you want to hear. This has just been a blast, and I, I really appreciate everyone tuning in and watching. So, thanks for sticking around this long, and we will see you in the next video.